You've waited long enough. It's time to get busy on the 99 Ram. Today we're gonna start on the back end and start getting it all prepped. I've got the license plate lights, I've got new tail lights, and I'm also going to be prepping everything on the back side for the truck bed liner that I'm gonna be spraying along the bottom edge. So the back bumper and everything down low that used to be black in Plastidip is gonna become permanently done with truck bed liner. Let's find all of our parts and get busy. Uh, I need a Torx bit in order to get those light fixtures off of there and expose the actual bulb itself. Let's find us a torque wrench, Torx bit, and get after it. What a guess. Right out of the gate. Guess the right one. That one was exposed to the weather. These helmets a little bit more than the other one was because it was full on cracked, wide open. You can literally see right through it. Whereas this one was just cracked. But we're getting LED lights and new fixtures for the outside. Uh, it's working on another car getting a little bit greasy and dirty. That's why I'm wearing these gloves, and that's not working for this task. Let's get rid of those. And, ooh, I'm gonna clean those connections before we put it all back together. Clean the connections with some of this uh, electric parts cleaner. Make sure all the corrosion's out of there so we don't have a corrosion issue going forward. Using a Craftsman screwdriver, but it has these little grooves in it that are uh, almost like a file. They're great for uh, cleaning up electrical contacts and that sort of thing. I'll put links down below to the tools and all the, the stuff that I use in this video. As always, links down below. All right, let's test them and make sure they actually fire up. If we can see in the daylight, oh yeah, they definitely. Oh, those are super bright. Nice. This is gonna work out great. If I remember right from last time I did this, there's a right and a left for these things. And how's that for a guess right out of the gate for the correct one? Just like. And the back part of these lights are kind of rubbery, so they they uh, seal up real nice. They make their own gasket, as it were. Snug, but not crazy tight. Don't want to crack the new fitting. Oh, or drop it. Jeez, amateur. What are you doing? Putting kid tracks on it. Feels good to finally be working on a truck again. That's for sure. Cool beans. Next, tail lights. And now I have a helper. Don't think I need that kind of help though. Fly away, bumblebee. I know it's not a bumblebee, it's fine. So next up, replacing those tail lights. Uh, I backed into some shopping carts in the Lowe's parking lot, and uh, yeah, that's a problem. So it's exposing my bulb. You can see my LED bulb down in there, maybe. Oh yeah, there you go. And I've been still going through car washes and that sort of thing, and water's been getting down in there. It's not great for that bulb. So we gotta get that fixed. So I bought some new fixtures from Amazon. They actually came with bulbs. I'm going to try to use the LED bulbs, but I'm concerned that the LEDs will not be bright enough to shine my brakes and my turn signals through the lens. It's not a mirrored backside 
it's just black so I may end up having to go this route just to just cuz so that it's bright enough to actually be seen got to be safe on the roads but let's get these bad boys out of here it's literally just two screws and then the thing pops straight out take your light connectors out of the back side of it put everything in in reverse order and should be good to go fairly straightforward let's start with the broken one go from there test these brake lights and see if they actually are bright enough to do any good. Those actually might be white bulbs. I can't remember actually. Oh yeah, those are white bulbs. That's not going to work. So we have to use the red bulbs that came with it. But that's why we test it when we're putting things together. No one pops in. Before I push that all the way in. Ow! Ow, that hurt. Dang it. That is not super bright, but I guess it works. I need to prep this area for the bed liner I'm going to spray before I put this back on so I don't have to worry about it later. So this is a chance for me to test out my uh, new angle die grinder, Ingersoll Rand. got this a little while ago and I haven't even opened it yet. Cute little thing, i got to find a fitting that matches my Air Tools setup. And then we're just going to use a little abrasive pad on it, clean off that plastic dip that's on there now, and get down to some of this rust that's under there, and we're going to treat that before we get everything put back together. <laughs> solvent and see if I can get the rest of that off there and then we'll treat these areas where there's bare metal showing. Um, I have to scuff this area up anyway in order for the truck bed liner to actually stick to everything so uh, I'm not worried about scratching the paint that's underneath it or anything like that. All that's going to be covered up. taped off. I'm going to hit it with a little bit of this rusty metal primer. I've used this stuff in the past. It works really good. It lasts a long time and it treats right up to the bare metal. And I'm just going to hit all the things that are essentially rusty and or exposed down to bare metal. scuff that a little bit when I go to put the uh, <clears throat> truck bed liner on when I spray it down here anyway. I laid it on a little heavy. I've got some runs going, but 
ain't no big thing. And while I have all my tools out and I'm ready to do all this stuff, I'm gonna actually take care of this guy here too. I gotta get that down to bare metal and make sure that I kill the cancer that's up underneath there. See if I can get something up behind it as well. Straighten that back out. You can see it's tweaked. What happened is I hooked a tie down on there and it tweaked it out, cracked the paint, and water gets back behind there and that's what starts your cancer. So I gotta get that squared away. Um, I'm gonna do my truck bed liner up along this body line. Essentially so that it looks like I have uh, wheel flares on there, but I, I'm not sure I'm gonna put wheel flares on there or not. But I'm gonna get that taken care of and treated so that the rust will stop before it gets completely out of hand. So that's next on the agenda. pulling the tape off of it. I'm not sure if it looks better or worse. It still has some pitting in it, um, but it's treated, so it's not gonna, in theory, rust anymore. <clears throat> but I sprayed clear up underneath the lip, treating all of that. Got a little bit of overspray on my wheel well, some on my hand. It's fine, whatever. But at least the rust is treated, so. This is my motivation now to get after this whole project and get it done. I'm running out of time today, I can already. There's just not enough time in the day for all the things I need to do. So I'm going to finish the tail lights and then we're gonna have to pick this up another day. So let's get the, the tail lights done. We'll call this a video for now. Be sure and like and subscribe so you can see the rest of this and the finished product when it's all done. But let's finish this up and then we'll talk about it. Just like that. Got new tail light fixtures in. I'm excited to see how bright they are in the dark. 
with that not being a reflective surface behind I do like what it looks like because it's black but I'm concerned that it's not going to reflect enough light I better not get pulled over for something stupid like that but it looks good <laughs> guess I'll look good getting pulled over right sure why not Well, that's a wrap for today's video. Uh, be sure and follow me on Instagram at uh, DIY at DIY Home and Auto. No spaces, all crammed together. That'd be awesome. I'll post project uh, pictures. You'll probably see pictures of of the different things that I work on on Instagram before you see them on YouTube. So be sure and follow me over there. On the next video, we'll complete the rust repair on the 99 Ram, getting it completely ready for the truck bed liner. I'm going to place that order here very soon so that that product will arrive in time to get after this before the winter sets in. Underneath this cover right here is a 1979 uh, Ford F-250 that me and my son have been working on. Code name uh, Midnight Maroon, hashtag Midnight Maroon. Watch the videos on that. Um, we've got more videos on that coming here shortly as well. It's time to get back to these automotive projects that you guys all want to see. Stay tuned. It's coming. I promise. I promise. This is Troy with DIY Home and Auto. Checking out. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks guys.